Hey, what the deal? We finna go up on this uh this ghost tour, you know what I'm talking about? And uh it finna go down. We're gonna walk over here, I'm gonna let y'all know. Alright, we found out where this spot's at. We found out where this spot's at, so we're we're en route <clears throat> right now to uh to where it's at. I guess I can go down these streets. And then we're gonna take a uh we're gonna take a, what I say right on get that building over there. Full moon on this side. I think it might have been that group of people over there. All right, we're gonna find a parking spot, and then uh, we will report back in. everybody right here underneath of this big great light let y'all all know that y'all are all stepping on about 8,000 dead bodies beneath you. So, we are in the very center of the bone yard. The bone yard actually started to walk back and it was So out of 12,000 plus that we really knew about, y'all know how many that we didn't know about that were visitors here to this island, well, lo and behold, about 8,000 of them was buried right here in this very small area you see around you. They were placed in kind of a pyramid shaped fashion. Dirt was pushed right over top of them and they were left here unmarked. So on a lighter note, if you so choose to join us on our next, next stop might be everybody's opportunity to meet a 120 year old immortal black cat named Toby. He's a really cool cat, you can pet this cat. However, I do suggest that you do not pick him up or pet his hind quarters. He gets really, really cranky whenever you do this. Now, some people go to take pictures of this cat, and well, he just doesn't appear in a picture sometimes. It's rare, but it does happen, and I've personally seen this. Some people go to take pictures of this cat, and the child's head appears above his. And all the way up until last night, I've never seen it before. People kept calling me about it, but I've personally never seen it. But last night was the very first time I did see it, so I can honestly tell y'all, yes, it does happen. A lot of people, they go to pet this cat, and they tell me all the time, he kind of feels cool to the touch. Almost like you're not petting a live cat. I don't know, because I don't pet that cat. <laughs> me and him have a good understanding, that's the way it stays. But, we'll go head off to our next stop, and we can't try to find him on the I'm gonna get you some candy, bro. What we got right here is a, uh, it's actually Enrique Iglesias actually owns this house. Now, here in like the last month and a half, we brought her out of this window about once a week on average. Really, nothing to write home about. Now, we got a couple of Enrique 
Iglesias actually bought this house for twelve thousand dollars back in 1991. And supposedly it's supposed to be one of the most haunted houses in Galveston. We are being told that uh, this is a 27 room mansion. That they practice Satanism here. Hot spot. This guy right here used to run a Satanism. Uh, and there were, he was also saying something about 11, 11 people have gone missing that lived here. Let's walk around a little bit. He was saying that a kid uh, jumped out of a window on that back side over there back in 1912. Violators will be prosecuted. Probably not a good idea to go in there. 